Hey, what's up, guys? Dark Shadow back again, bringing you another review. And today, um, do something a little different. And I, I know I've done this before, but I'm actually going to do two toys at the one time. And the reason why I'm doing it is, yeah, mostly because I feel like it. So, and we're going to take a look at the two movie reverse bumblebees that I own: the Dark and the Moon Cyberverse, and not Cyberverse, sorry, uh, Cyberfire Bumblebee. And the Hunt for Decepticons uh, Bumblebee. So, let's move him off to the side and then we'll take a look at this guy first. Um, I already packed this guy up a couple days ago, actually. But, <clears throat> I'll just call this guy the Psychotic Bumblebee and you'll see why in a bit. But as you can see, he is primarily black with yellow. Kind of like electric painting here, and mine looks a little weird because that's basically what it is: is black plastic and yellow paint. So I don't know if it's showing up here on camera, but hmm. it's still still pretty nice though. Nice orangey red windows all around. Got a little mesh detail here. Now, the spoiler on mine is crooked. I don't know if it's just an issue with mine or the actual mold of the toy is like this. Because I don't have the original one that this one is based on. Because this here is actually a repaint. But, he has a nice little car. Unfortunately, my tire doesn't want to spin. I don't know why. Hmm, oh well. Doesn't really matter. The roll's pretty good. And he comes with a little mech tech weapon. A little gun. Pull the thing back. Yeah, I spent the other day just doing this for like a half hour straight. I don't know why, but yeah. So it's there. And it can go plug this little mech tech port right up here on the roof of the car. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. And you can plug if you want your Camaro to go around with a giant gun on the hood. Nice little Chevy symbol there. And this little paint out about the bowl there. And the other side, yeah. You can see his feet, his arm, and his head. Yeah. That's him. Anybody in the other movie, Bumblebee? Again, here's your basic yellow and black Camaro, just like he was in the Re Revenge of the Fallen movie. This little red Chevy symbol there. Now, unfortunately, there is no Autobot symbol on this one. Got, uh, you can't really see that, but got Camaro right in there on the side. I don't know if this one got it or not. Yeah, it does. It was right there, but it was really hard to find. It's Camaro SS. <laughs> it's really hard to see. But it's there. Nice blue windows all the way around. And as a size comparison, because for some reason, when they've done the Dark and Moon toy line, they end up making the toys a lot smaller. So, going from rear end to rear end. You see, there's a little bit of a size difference. With, eh, it's pretty much the same. Same underside. Whatever. So, <clears throat> let's get these guys transformed. <clears throat> yeah, and I know you can hear the clock. And unfortunately, I can't stop it. <laughs> it's one of those old-fashioned uh, wind-up blocks. So, if it is annoying, I apologize right now. So first off, you want to lift up the back piece. Flip it up like that. Separate flip the back here. On his doors. Oh, 
can take off this piece here. Just I tab that. Say that on this side. And I apologize. I'm actually starting to get the flu again. Bring the feet down. Place like this. Basically, yeah, like I said, just extend the legs down. Take this part here. And fold it on up until you it fills in the legs. And it should stay there. And just put these off to the side for now. I'll get to them in a second. Next thing you want to do, take the wheels, fold them down. Bring out the arms. The front section and mine is very stiff. Oh. Come on. There you go. Oh, sorry. You just bring these out, flip it up. I think this is just mine, but I don't know if anyone else got the same problem. But like I said, these are really stiff on mine. <clears throat> Take the bottom part here. Flip it like that. Flip this whole section down. And this part here will go into a little post in there. Snip it all in. Fix the chest. Fix the arms. Take this section here, fold that down. Now, what I like to do is take it and slide up in on the side here. Gives them a little bit of backpack, but oh well. Now, legs down. Take these, take them, fold them up like that. Fold them up like that. One nose on the doors, flip it up like that. And here is the Dark in the Moon Solar Fire Bumblebee. And yeah, like I said, the reason why I called him Psycho, just look at those eyes. Red, glowing eyes. And like, there's not even that much light here. And you see, they're already starting to glow. I'm going to light out. My bodies. And sorry for that noise. I'm actually just moving the chair so I can get at, get at my uh, little lighter here. It's got a little built in light. Let's see. Yeah. Really creepy. This guy literally do creep me out just because of those red eyes. <clears throat> and the bile, if you read it right, it basically says it says something about he spent a lot of time about Teletran Run trying to find new combat skills. And if you read it right, it's basically saying he learned to kill. I think Pia said that one first. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I do like this guy. Paint scheme. The colors are normal, basically the same thing. Yellow, black. A bit more red in there in the eyes, and then the windshield's up here. A little bit of gray, and the robot sections like the arms. Uh, yeah. Articulation wise, it does have a ball joint here, and his arms. They can go all the way around, but they do get brought up by this little backpack stuff. It's swivel just above the elbow. A really nice... It's a single joint elbow, but it can go up pretty far. And the wrists go in and out. Head does go all the way around. 
and it goes up that far, but it can go down there. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there is no battle mask on this one. Uh, that arm's still the same. Legs go out that far. Go out that far. Nice bend in the knee. But it can only bend. Only bends that far. And I can say, due to transformation, you can go like that as well. Uh, yeah, and there's a swivel just up here, right here by the waist. And there is no waist. Oh, yeah, that, that, huh. didn't know that. Yeah, there's also a waist swivel as well. So, there's him. You can hold. You can hold it in his hand if you want it to, but it goes up here as well. And you plug it in there. And also on the arms, you see the little the three mm clip system. Clip system. Sorry, a little bit tongue tied. Is uh, in effect here as well. And I fortunately I ain't got your one here to show you. <coughs> but there's him. And now this guy. And the thing is, why I'm doing the transformation I'm doing this guy and this guy at the same time, the transformation is pretty much similar. You lift up first off, unhook the back, doors, unhook the backpack, unfortunately mine likes being stubborn, backpack, take legs, unhook it here, in here, fold feet down, and the legs, and extend the legs, like so, put these up, work the arms, fold all this down, fold these out, Take the front section. So, put that out. Bring all this down, but sometimes the headlight's getting stuck. Put that in. Fix up the backpack. Sorry about that. They, I didn't want to have that clock going off in the video again. And that and my phone went off as well. So yeah, fix the legs. Fold these, these are normally out like that. Fold them in. <clears throat> fix up the arms. Fold these. Fold them up. Hands. Turn the thumbs around. Okay. Fix the arms if you want. And straight over them up. And here you have the Humphrey Decepticons full of V. Like I said, transmission of the two of them are pretty identical, so that's why I've done it at the same time. And our articulation is pretty much the same as well. Ball joint here in the rear, in the upper arm. Can't go all the, ran all the way around, but it do get hindered by the backpack. The uh, backpack. Yeah, I need needs to go to sleep. The, the door wings things. Uh, rotation here, just above the elbow. Single joint elbow, but still gets up and goes about 90 degrees. 
wrists in and out with that. Uh, waist turns, legs that far. Been that much. Legs, mm, a little torso. Mm, feet, basically the same. And head, ball joint, go all the way around. Yeah. Basically, same articulation. Now, things about this guy, he didn't actually come with weapons like him. He actually has his weapons built into him. So for this one here, just put the forearm part apart. Bring this down, pull that down, put it back together, and you got a little gun. Next thing, push the button here, and you get up to that X. Which they, I think they actually put on backwards. <laughs> because as you can see, that should be the blade apart there. So that should actually be down here. I don't know why they done that, but they did. And another thing about this bone be actually got the flip down face mask. And now, that's one thing I wish that guy had, but, eh, dang it, Wayne. I do like these guys, but, whatever. Now, unfortunately, while I, <laughs> I'm also happy to pick up the other Dark and Moon Bumblebees, just because. But, I don't know when I'll be able to get back to Walmart again, and by the time I get back there, it might be all gone. So you can see size comparison. Yeah, this guy is a lot taller. Not by much though, but yeah, there's enough you can tell. And if you can't, let me bring things down a little bit. Yeah, you can see, there he is. But, what I recommend these guys? Yeah, why not? It's Bumblebee. What's not that I like about Bumblebee? Granted, the movie Ecstatic is boring me. I'm tired of the Bayformers. But, unfortunately, that's all I can get in my area. Like, I know there's, I think there's a new wave of generations coming out. Granted, I don't see if my wall will get them, considering you can still get the War of Cybertron Prime, Prime Megatron Soundwave there. Plus Generations Thrust and Dark Mount are still there at Walmart. I want Walmart. So yeah, we're they're 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 a little bit behind on them. And now then I might go in and pick up something new, but very rare will they surprise me. And unfortunately there's only one Toys R Us here on the island and eh, it's about a four hour drive away. So yeah. Hmm. I don't say I'll be doing that anytime soon. So We'll see once the uh, Transformers Prime toys come out. If I can get them online, I'll get them online. If I can't, I can't. I'll find some way to get the Toys R Us. This guy got leaf piping. Yes, he does. As you can see. But it's two really good figures. If you can see him online, get him. He is pretty cool. But if you're going to Toys R Us or Walmart or whatever and you see this guy, get him for the sole fact of those really freaky red eyes. I'm sorry, but this guy is just kick-ass. 
But there's everything I got to say on these guys. Like them, pick them up, you can find them. And I'll see you guys around. Take care.